Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at this. This is the Phobia by Triphobic Mods. Uh, now, I got to meet Bradley, the guy that makes these, uh, down at Vapefest there. And I will say that, damn, he sold a shit ton of these down there. Uh, very popular little 3D squonkers. Now, this is in the UK just now. You can go along to the Facebook page, you can buy it from there. Or you can also go along to the Cheeky Vapes website and I'll put all the links in the description. You're looking at £120 for this little guy and it comes with one door which is cut from acrylic but there are lots of other doors available as well. Uh, more acrylic ones and also going into stab wood and on from there. I am hoping to actually get uh, another alumide door that will same colour as the mod, so it'll all match up. But the doors start from £15. Before we go in for close-ups, I'll put up a little slideshow uh, just to show you some of the different variants that are available. Uh, I took most of these, well all of these photos I took from the Facebook group itself, so, so thank you to everybody that's posted up their photos there. This is how the package arrived with me in its own little box, Triphobic Mods. Inside was the device itself and taking the, the door off, I think I said this was acrylic at the start, it's Perspex. Uh, but uh, just to show you this now, as you would have seen from the slideshow, you can get this in lots of different colours. And one thing that I've got to point out straight away is when I first saw this I immediately thought because of all the holes in it there would be no strength, there'd be a lot of flex in it, but no, it rock, the, the, there's no flex, major flex in this or anything, it's as strong as any other door I've come across and you can see that there are two magnets here and here that will stick to the battery once you put it inside. Inside with mine there were two mod maker uh, fillable bottles and continuing the mod maker theme we also have the mod maker 510 going on up the top and we have silver contacts running along the base here that just pull out no problem at all. We have our fire button here which does have the company logo on it which also matches up with the company logo that is in here. Now this is the 3D printing method for this is SLS and I do I have not one single negative to give you on the actual print on this. This is just as good as it gets. It's alumide and it's it's pretty much perfect to be honest. Inside we do have this race section, so we have two compartments here. We have one for the bottle and one for the battery and everything fits in there just fine. You can see from the contact here, if I just push that, it's making contact there no problem at all. It's a little bit on the long side for me, I would like it a little bit shorter but that is personal preference but it fires no problem. The only thing I find is that if you look here, if you push the button on the bottom, see the angle there? If you push the button on the top, then fires no problem. So just be aware of that, you know, if you're going to fire and you get a misfire or anything, it's going to be probably because you're pushing on the bottom and it's taking a, a long throw. But push it squarely in the middle or up the top and uh, no problem at all. Mod Maker 510 is spring loaded, so no issues there. And just taking you around the device, And there we go. So with this one, I'll just use this empty bottle here. You know, your bottle's just going to sit in there like that. You can see there's a slight, well, it's a, not a kink, just a curve. And grabbing my battery, nipple down or positive down on this, and it just slides in there, no problem at all. Stick my door on. There she goes. And of course, you get the colour of the battery showing through here as well. If you want to muck about with wraps and so on. You'll get a 24mm atty on here, no problem, with no overhang. You can see there is a little chamfer on the edge there, tiny little slope. If you go 25, it will just kick over there just a tiny little bit. You're looking about 73mm from top to bottom. And I make it about 25.2mm across here. I will point out, because it's one of these things you should point out, 
the door doesn't sit com completely inside, if you like, completely flush. You can see there's just it sits just a tiny little bit proud there. I do actually think that's the design. It's not like it's poking out miles. It's uniformed all the way around. So I don't have any problems with that either. And that is it for the Phobia. I mean, it's a 3D printed mech. Uh, there's not really a lot else I can tell you about it other than just spinning around and letting you see what it looks like. So just popping the new bottle out and uh, putting in one of my old mod makers. Uh, so there we go there. I'm just going to pop the battery in. Uh, there, there's no damage to the battery wraps, nothing like that. Uh, if I want the battery out, I just give it a, a slap and, and it pops out no problem at all. And I've got the, the Flav by Alliance Tech on there just now. And yeah, there we go. Uh, we'll have a quick vape. I have nothing to report on the quality of performance. I mean, it's the exact same as... Sorry, I'm, I'm going to compare here uh, my, my Runt. Uh, my Runt V2, which is uh, an Alumide as well, same colour as this, is kind of my benchmark when it comes to 3D printed mech mods because it just performs perfectly and I love everything about it. This performs just the same. Um, and it should because it's got silver contacts and it's got a Mod Maker 510, so everything's pretty much the same inside. It's it's the design. I mean, triphobic. You know, I mean, if you're watching this and freaking out, then I've got bad news for you. You are triphobic. Um, no, it's a it's a fear of you know holes or yeah. If you ever go and don't go and Google it, just don't. It's anyway the the mod itself. As as I said at the start, honestly, I mean. Hand on heart, at the green door, I had to, I had to test the green door. I really don't like the green door on it at all. And I've asked Bradley if possible if I can get, you know, an, an alumide door that matches. It's the same colour, same finish, so I have, a you know, the same all the way round. That's just what I like. I mean, I saw so many people with these down at Vape Fest. He sold a load of them and they're very, very popular with people. And it's it's just a personal taste thing for me that I'm just not a fan of the green door. I how I just cannot fault anything else about it. it. It's well made and it's well presented and and it's not a bad price when you take into account all the other 3D printed make mods that are out there and also the accessories. If you want a stab wood door, I think they go up once a month on the Facebook group. So go and have a look on there. The cons that I have, or the things that I'm not a fan of, uh, I'm actually I'm I'm not a huge fan of the shape of the window. I am I am finding with me because I've got big paws. I really have, and I do find sometimes that when I'm squonking, uh, I can get my thumb caught on the edge of the door here, and I do end up pulling the door out. That's just I think that's more down to me size of the thumbs or just because of the way that the door is actually the shape of the door there I mean the window is big enough to squonk through that's not an issue it's just you have to find the perfect spot to squonk with uh, but as always I do have to mention that uh, also the the button you know make sure you're pushing it square on or up the top if you push it at the bottom it's not firing it's not firing just firing push it in the middle at the top fires every time and and really that that's all I've got for you as I said well presented available you can go and buy it and it's very very popular as well and that's it the phobia from triphobic mods triphobic triphobic Bob why do people send me these things why can't they just call it something simple for simple folk like me I do like the, the logo as well. I like the way it's cut in there and it's also on the button. And for those of you that don't have other squonk mods, I can tell you that comparing it to other 3D printed squonk mods, it's it's the same size. It's a normal size. It's not super small. It's not too big. It's in keeping with the other ones on the market. And that's me. Listen, thank you to Bradley, Bob, Bob Bradley, uh, for sending this on. I did get this free to review and to show off to you guys and once again go along to the Facebook page or check out Cheeky Vape and see what's there. But remember you can get all the, the stabweed doors and the fancy doors will be on the Facebook page as well. As always, thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time.
Bye, guys.